Hey guys, welcome back. We are gonna make a new recipe today. Yeah. It's gonna be beef stroganoff. Something I kind of made up. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's get started. But I have a pot of water. I'm gonna boil that for my pasta. And then I'm gonna ground up brown, ground, ground beef. I get this from Trader Joe's, it's the 96.4. I think it's only two points for two ounces, I think. I think it is, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm gonna get Gosh, took a long time. Get my handy dandy tool to break it all up. I'm gonna salt and pepper it. Oh, I don't know if I said it. I preheated my oven to 350. 350. Put some minced onion in there. Uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna get that all browned up. I'm gonna add some water to it. It helps it not be so dry. Because when you have a meat that has barely any fat in it, it gets kind of dry out. Okay, let's do the next step while the beef is still getting all cooked up and waiting for my water to boil. I'm gonna get one can of the Healthy Request Campbell's Cream of Mushroom. We're gonna use the whole can. And I'm just gonna put it in this bowl. All right, then we're gonna take a quarter cup of some plain Greek yogurt. I'm normally when people make this, it's with sour cream. So I am substituting sour cream for this. So I'm gonna quarter cup. Good enough. Put that in there. And then I'm gonna take a quarter cup of skim milk. Hopefully this is enough, I think this is enough left. Perfecto. Okay. And then I'm gonna get the salt and the pepper. Get a lot in there. And use some garlic powder as well. And stir that up. So, my water's still not boiling. I don't know why it's taking so long. So I'll be back when we combine everything. It's boiling, but I'm gonna drain this hamburger a little bit. I think that's good enough. I just don't want all this extra liquid in there. So, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna boil finally, eight years later. 
you guys that have not tried this stuff, try it. Fiber Gourmet Pasta. I've tried them all. They're amazing. I got them off Amazon. They come in a pack of six. So we're going to put this whole package in there. So it looks like on the inside. And it is eight ounces. We're not going to cook it all the way just till it's al dente because it's going to cook the oven too. Okay. Um, and I'm going to add my ground beef in to my mixture here. It all stirred up. Okay. Well, we are going to wait for the pasta to cook. Yeah. While we are waiting for the pasta to cook a little bit more, we're gonna wear cheese. God, I'm obsessed with Velveeta. Love Velveeta. So we're gonna measure out half a cup. I still have some left over in this bag, so I'm gonna get all that out. Okay. Got a half a cup of our cheese. I don't know how much longer this has. Well, it's almost done. Okay, the pasta is done. I have drained it, and I am now going to mix it in with my mixture. Woo, it's hot. And then I'm gonna get all that tossed in there. All right. We got everything stirred together in there. And now, get a nine by 13 baking dish. I think it's nine by 13. And we are going to spray it. I'm just using some vegetable oil spray. And then we're gonna transfer everything in here. All right, I'm just gonna get a spatula and even this all out. Just gonna sprinkle it over the top here. what it looks like. I'm gonna cover it. And we are gonna put it in the oven. We are gonna bake it for 30 minutes covered and then we're gonna take the cover off and cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll be back. done this is a full-size plate and that's how much I get this whole thing is nine points so we're gonna try it I've never had this before super hot pretty good. I need some salt though. And pepper, but yeah. It's a pretty solid dish. So I'm gonna finish eating this and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like my video, and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.